What's up everyone, welcome to a new episode of Paranormal Torch and uh, I'm here with Jack and Jamie Hello. tonight. Uh, we're at St Peter's and St Paul's Tunstall, which is Halvergate area I believe, yeah. of Norfolk, near the Norfolk Broads. And it's your suggestion to come here actually, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you know much about this place? It, there's something about the tower and the fact that it's to do with the uh, battle between the devil uh, and the bell. Um, there's a lot more you can sort of read online, but there's kind of some myth and lore around it. So, mm. and it's supposedly haunted by uh, people who died during the yeah. fire. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's it. I read something, but yeah. So this place has a graveyard as well. So we'll also check the graveyard out. But in the meantime, let's run a video and see you in a minute. Don't be fooled by the fields surrounding this church for this once was a tower beacon for shipping as the surrounding areas were drained for what is now known as the Norfolk Broads. St Peter and St Paul's in Tunstall was built in the 14th century and served several coastal communities. There was once a fire at this church which reduced much of its main part to rubble. It is believed this church once had links with the devil. After an argument erupted over the bells which survived the fire, priests witnessed a dark mass coming in and the bells magically disappeared. The only working part left is the chapel that was built in the 1860s. If you visit this place, make sure you check out the old stone that's above the entrance. Less than a mile away at a place called Hellcar, muffled bells are often heard, the sound drifting across the marshland towards the church. This looks quite high, isn't it? Yeah. There was a fire here or something, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, there was a fire apparently. people died. But there's that kind of, there was supposedly a kind of battle with the devil or something. That's right. Around the bell. Um, yeah. But that's just the... law, isn't it? So... We're here for culture. What do you HM government. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, just shut it behind, I think. The country code, isn't it? <laughs> It does look like uh, St. Mary, uh, is it St. Mary's? Uh, East oh, uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> it's got that sort of same look. It's quite cool, isn't it? Just to... Right then. It's not too windy, it's quite nice really. It's not too bad, is it, actually? Yeah. It's quite clear as well, isn't it? Yeah, so, definitely. Um, so I'm assuming that's actually where they hold the real services. Apparently they do some here yeah. still. Apparently. Um, See the old stained glass windows, where they would have been. So I believe this place used to be um, part of um, the village that used to be located near here, but also it is featured in the Doomsday Book, mentioned in the Doomsday Book. But like a lot of Norfolk churches, it's gone to ruin just from weathering and the plague and the war, various things really. What about just down on the floor facing that way? Yeah. There is a... Did you say something? No. What was that? It's yeah. <laughs> blocked, isn't it? What about just down on the floor facing that way? Yeah. There is a... There is a... Yeah. There is a... Did you say something? No. What was that? Yeah. Okay, so we've got three cat balls out on the floor. None of them are going off. Oh, he oh, says, "Is that one no. start going off?" <laughs> I'm not going to say that's paranormal, but no. Right. But interesting. But as I said about it, yeah. So where's the other one? Uh, the other one's just a bit further down near the other camera. Okay. Unfortunately, that can't, camera can't see them because they're quite. Oh. Yeah, it might be. Might need a reset. Yeah, maybe. Sometimes they need a reset, don't they? Yeah. That's the thing, you have to be. I knew it. Yeah, I'll give it a little shake. Oh, 
there some more balls on over this side if you wanted to step towards them? Or go towards the blue line? You can see it on the floor, it's flashing really slowly. Is that close to it? You can make it go green or red. To introduce ourselves, really. Yeah, could do. Yeah. Um, so my name's Jamie. And I'm Jamie. And I'm Jack. And this is Jack. And we're just here, we just want to communicate with you. And we don't mean any disrespect. We're just purely here just to sort of understand if there's people here. Or people in the afterlife here. So we've got several objects on the floor. If you could just step close to them. If you can go close to the ball that you've been setting off earlier. They're like little plastic cat balls. Yeah, if you can see where my, I'm shining this light. Yeah. There's, a, there's one there. There's one there over there. And the other two, three around here. Yeah. If you can see that blue light there, that object may sense you. It won't hurt any of you. No. But it would be great if you could uh, just interact, just to let us know you're here, and perhaps we could have a little conversation. Is that okay? Touch one of the objects, just to let us know if you can understand. Did you live in the village? If you did, can you set one of the balls off for us? Did you pass away in the fire? You know what happened to the bell? Mm-hmm. I don't think it's near here though, is it? No. I have a bell. Would you like me to ring a bell? Hang on, what was that? Oh! Oh! You would like me to ring a bell? It's a ring a bell. Hang on, what was that? Oh! Oh! You would like me to ring a bell? We checked Jamie's mic and she didn't make any sounds on this part of the investigation. So who is this mystery voice saying no? And then shortly after, the Flux 2 activated. This is the only time that this Flux 2 went off. That's interesting that hasn't gone off yet again. Yeah. Maybe something was just passing through. Maybe. It's a bit interesting it responded to your question about the bell. When mm. you were talking about the bell. Mm. Yeah, just have a wander around here. Should we go around the back? Yeah, is, it, is there any graves around the back? I don't know. Should we? We could go that way, I'm just thinking it's easier just to... Yeah, yeah, I'll do it like that. Oh, look at this. Sundial. Mm. See that? Oh yeah. Interesting. This is a datum mark. These were used many years ago to help align the buildings during the construction. Many of these data marks have links to various temples over the years, including the Knights Templar. It's even been featured in the very latest series, The Curse of Oak Island. Yeah. Stuff like that. Oh, we're on a footpath here. Yeah. You what? I keep hearing a leaf fall from that footsteps. I thought you said something. <laughs> so these ones are clear. Can't see anything. Oh, oh hang on. The, the 90. Uh, oh, not 1980. So some of these are quite... 2009. So he's unmarked? Yeah. So, oh, it would have been. Get shot of him. Get shot of him. Yeah. He's... Yeah. Unmarked graves. Just get a grow. Yeah, a couple of shots of them and then... Uh... So it's not an overly... Up... So, so it's not an overly old graveyard. A lot of it seems to be in the last century. Yes. And... Um... Which is a bit strange when the church goes all the way back to 10... 
Which is why I think these I think. mounds yeah. might be... They might have then just taken over the churchyard with the, mo- the, with the other church. So. Yeah. Just they're built only on little top graves, aren't they? Don't yeah, they've gone on top and on top, haven't they? Which is often what you find sort of in sort of plague areas and stuff like that. It, a lot of the churches in Norwich, there, there's one near St Andrew's car park, um, and if you're heading up towards where, I don't know if you remember where Tesco's Metro is, so you go up St Andrew's uh-huh. and you're heading, and the walls are really high heading up there, and that is basically just a plague pit. All the bodies are buried there, so they've just stacked them in, mm. just built the walls up high, because mm. it was a way to get them in. So, um, so yeah, it's not too much here, is it really? So just a quick little video. Uh, we had that only the cat ball, possibly. Yeah. And the I forgot what it was. So if you do hear anything on here, let us know, because I might miss it in editing. Um, because I thought I heard a couple of noises. We well, um, you heard a, like a, almost like a grunt. Didn't yeah. You? yeah. Whether it was a frog or something, but yeah. I don't see any uh, ponds nearby. Um, but yeah. So that's it for now, and um, we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.